Hey guys, today or this evening, <laughs> I wanted to um, share some really exciting news with you guys and get your opinions on um, the whole thing. So let's uh, get right to it. So about two years ago, I did a video series documenting my uh, journey with the Master Cleanse. And I think I even named it my Master Cleanse Journey, something along those lines. And um, it was a really great experience. I lost 14 pounds doing it. And uh, for the most part, I kept almost all of it off. Um, I, I think I only gained back about six pounds of it. So, I mean, that's pretty good considering it was more of a um, short-term type weight loss. It wasn't... Um, like after the the cleanse I I kind of went back to what I was doing before only you know trying to cut back on certain foods here and there so recently um I have been uh speaking back and forth with a wonderful woman named Rebecca and she has um helped me immensely find out um the the right plan for me and she works with a company called Bistro MD. Now if you've never heard of Bistro MD, it's a diet delivery program. Now Bistro MD has been featured on Dr. Phil and the doctors. They supply food for the biggest loser. I mean they're not like overly advertised, but they are a straight, like legit company and they do really good things and they specialize in weight loss so they have dietitians that um, customize your meals for you and I think that's really cool so it's kind of like a Nutrisystem type program as far as the fact that they they send the meals to your door breakfast lunch dinner snacks um, everything's provided for you and you don't have to do anything but get your package put your food away and then when it's time to eat you just heat it up eat it and lose weight so it sounds pretty straightforward so I'm super excited about it um, my first shipment will come at the end of next week so um, I'm pretty stoked and I was gonna wait till it's closer to time for me to get my first box before I did the video but I'm so excited about it I couldn't wait so I was t taking my shower as you can see my hair still wet I took my shower and while I was in the shower I was thinking I just I have to blog about this now I can't even wait so that's where we're at so it was really cool um, she asked me about any food allergies that I had um, foods if there were any foods that I prefer not to have um, and so the really cool thing was I did tell her you know I have an allergy to kiwi fruit and as far as other things are concerned I am NOT a picky eater um, there are only a handful of foods that I do not care for and that's things that they don't even offer so <laughs> that's pretty cool so I was able to pretty much anything they send me it's I mean I haven't tasted it yet but in theory I will like it because you know she did make sure that you know it's foods that um, there's nothing in there that I don't like so that's pretty cool uh, how it works is um, each meal is designed to have the correct amount of proteins and carbohydrates sugars fats all of that it's all um, designed by uh, doctors dietitians and then the food is prepared by real chefs so I think that's pretty cool the other thing that I think is really cool about it is unlike some other um, delivery to your door um, diet food places um, everything is provided for me I know um, that Nutrisystem in particular um, I had a friend that used it and yeah she lost weight but 
there were certain things that she did not like about the program in that she still had to make a grocery list because, you know, it would say, like, with your lunch or with your breakfast, you can have fruit or cottage cheese, things like that, low-fat dressing on a salad. Um, and the salad wasn't provided, the cottage cheese wasn't provided, the fruit wasn't provided. So she still had to, on top of buying the meals, she still had to go out and buy extras, which... I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. If you're going to be buying food for your family as well, then I guess, you know, it's not that big of a deal to pick up an extra thing of cottage cheese. But if you're somebody that is single, live by yourself, and you're going to be spending the money on these meals being delivered to you, I think that I would not necessarily want to go out and go to a grocery store. There's a lot of temptations in the grocery store, so I think that it's really nice that Bistro MD really thinks about that and every single thing that you need, with the exception of like water, <laughs> is provided. So I won't have to make any special trips to the grocery store, which I'm really stoked about. Um. The, I think the only thing that I'm nervous about is how I'm going to deal with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this, is my absolute favorite time of year. I mean, I don't know how much of it is gathering around with my family and how much of it is food. Because I think they're both pretty... Um, important to me as far as um, maybe maybe it's a comfort issue like the thought of not sitting down and having the meal that my mother and my family like spent all day preparing kind of bums me out so I may still have Thanksgiving dinner but differently in other words, um, I'm getting a food scale from my father-in-law because he dieted um, before a surgery and he had a food scale. So I'm going to borrow his food scale specifically for Thanksgiving so that I can, um, you know, make sure that I'm eating the right amounts of food so that I can still have, you know, some of mom's sweet potatoes and you know some of the cornbread dressing and things like that but not overdo it and go crazy that leads me into one other thing that i think is amazing with bistro md and and really all the food delivery to your house programs to an extent is that i won't have to I won't have to weigh any food i won't have to count any calories i won't have to calculate grams of fat and things like that it's all done for me I know from personal experience with Weight Watchers that that was the thing that I hated the most yeah it's pretty easy but there are times when you know you have you have to figure out how many points something is and then you have to figure out how many points um, you're allowed and then you have to figure out how many points you've already had that day and how many you have left so then let's say you've got 10 points left for dinner now you have to plan your dinner around how many points you have left and it, it just it becomes kind of um, a hassle and that's I think the major reason why Weight Watchers just wasn't right for me at the time um, everything's done for me with Bistro MD so I'm super excited about that now, as far as documenting my journey is concerned, um, the day that I get my box of food, I'm going to um, film that, um, the unboxing, and go through what all came in it, because you'll be seeing it for the first time, I'll be seeing it for the first time, so um, that'll be fun. And then, um, every time I eat a different entree that I haven't tried before, um, I will try to document that so I can let you guys know how it tasted, what the portions were like, things like that. Uh, once a week, um, I depending on how long I stay on Bistro MD, 
I will give you weekly updates on my weight loss. Um, I'm also going to try to journal um, my exercise. Now, I busted out the um, Tony Little Gazelle that um, I had put away. I don't know why I put it away. If I kept it out, I would have been more likely to use it, I think. But anyways, I, I drug it back out of storage. And um, because it's getting cold, and until the snow flies, um, and even when it's just light snowing, I'm going to make it a point to take my dogs and my daughter on a walk every evening so I think like when she gets home from school we'll go through her backpack do any homework and then before dinner go for a walk and I think that'll be nice and um, just other little changes I'm planning on parking like one or two blocks away from her school when I pick her up um, because as it is now, I leave early just so I can get a spot in front of the school. So that when she comes out of the school, I'm right there. Now, I'm, I'm not alone. There's a lot of parents that do that. Trust me, that's why I leave early to get that spot. But um, it'll be nice to get a little bit of extra exercise. And I won't have to leave at 2.30 to pick her up at 3. And the school's 5 minutes away. You know what I mean? So I think that'll be nice. Um, uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to quit soda. And I don't think soda is going to be very hard for me um, because there's lots of other beverages that I enjoy. One of them being coffee. And I'm concerned that I'm going to have to quit drinking coffee because I really love my coffee. I mean, I even have coffee on my nails. I just did this like the other night. Let me zoom in. I just painted these coffee nails like three nights ago. Aren't they cute? <laughs> um, so I'm really concerned that I'm gonna have to give up my coffee. Um, I'm going to talk to Rebecca. I'm gonna probably email her tomorrow and say, hey, what are the rules when it comes to extras like coffee or one of my favorite favorite things in the world is bananas can I still have a banana if I want one so things like that I'll be figuring out along the way and you guys will be learning it too um, as far as the way the food actually tastes, I will be 100% honest. So if I try the chicken marsala and the chicken marsala sucks, I'm going to say, hey, um, I didn't care for the chicken marsala. So here's why. And, you know, I'm not just going to say, okay, the chicken marsala sucked. I'll let you know what I thought it needed or didn't need or did it lack flavor or was it to this or not enough that whatever so I'm going to be super super honest about the whole experience that way you guys will know and be informed because you know me I don't like to go into anything without knowing as much as possible about it first and even prior to um, doing this, I researched um, Bistro MD quite extensively. In fact, my husband was tired of hearing me ramble off facts. So <laughs> when my box arrives, I will start my journey and I'll start it with you. So I want to know down below, have you had any experience with Bistro MD? Have you had any experience with any other um, home delivery diet programs? Uh, I'd also want to know what you guys would think if maybe once a week I scheduled a blog TV uh, live chat about it. So that once a week you guys, we can all get together on blog TV and do a, like a Q&A and just chit chat about weight loss. I mean, make it kind of like a support group you know so I think that'll be fun too let me know what you guys think about that and uh, what kinds of things you want to know about when I do my documenting so that I know what kinds of things you want to know about I mean maybe you guys don't want to know um, 
what it looks like when it comes in the mail you know but I'm sure some people would be interested in that so I'm gonna do that anyway so don't worry about that that's it for now uh, thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I'll put a link below to um, Bistro MD so you can check it out definitely click on the menu tab and look at all the delicious food I'm so excited about some of those entrees like the mahi mahi and the there's like two I think two or three entrees that have shrimp in them I'm excited about those because I love seafood and I'm excited about shrimp I'm excited about mahi mahi oh and there's like a jerk tilapia can't wait I love jerk when me and my husband went on our honeymoon I made it a point because we went to Florida I made it a point to go to a Cuban restaurant and I got a Cuban sandwich and my husband got some jerk chicken or some jerk something and it was absolutely amazing and it was a little too spicy for him but it was amazing and jerk is awesome so I'm super excited and I I'm I'm sure that jerk isn't Cuban but they had it there so whatever um, before anybody says oh well jerk isn't Cuban I know it's delicious though <laughs> So I'm really, really excited. So click on the menu tab. Look at all the delicious food. Um, it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait. I am so excited. I wish the box would come tomorrow. I am ready. I am pumped. I've got my um, stainless steel water bottles. I busted out my gazelle. And I am ready. So if you guys are ready to see me do awesome at this then stay tuned because um, I'm gonna kick ass at this I'm gonna follow their directions to the letter if they say I need to drink three ounces of water every minute I'll do it okay well that's that's a little much but you know what I mean. If it says to eat one snack at 2.30, then you know what I'm doing at 2.30? I'm eating a snack. Because I'll have unwrapped it at 2.29. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye.